Center. I'm Michelle Marshall, and this is the training for the Presenter 10 Pro Eyes. You begin by going to Pro Eyes Presenter 10, and I can send you the link to that. And down here, it says no account register. So you click here on register, and that takes you to here. And you want to enter your email address, first name, middle name, or middle initial, like your last name, country, user type, your password, um, agree to the terms. And then I would also subscribe to the newsletter and then hit register. Once you register, wait for an email to come to your inbox and then click on that. And once you click on that and confirm that, you will go here to ProWise Presenter 10. Um, you can sign in with Google. You can sign in with your email. I'm going to sign in with Google. And ProWise Presenter 10 is it's kind of like a PowerPoint and it has lots of images and backgrounds. And you can create lessons and share them with each other. And it is web based. So you can create lessons at home and then bring them and pull them up on the big board at your school. You can create them on a tablet. Um, it does have Presenter 10 on your phone. All right, so it's presenter10.proise.com. So right here we have our file. So we can file and we can open and we can save, import, export, and share. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open. And if I open the community, I can see here, I'm going to go to general. I can see here the other teachers have shared and created lesson plans. And I can open up any of these if I want and see them. I'm going to pull up a demonstration for you. It's um, this one right here. OK, so across the bottom here, I have this media button. And I can load 3D models, I can load illustrations, sounds, backgrounds, tools, images, videos. Um, I also have markers, shapes, text. Um, this one sizes things. I'm still loading here, so I'm going to just kind of keep talking. This is the hand to move things around. These are my page numbers. Um, this is your account. This is sneak peek, your display area, account, login, clear all notifications, and your frequently asked questions here. Okay, so here I just came here and I said I'm going to insert some images. And so I just typed family. And then once you find the family that you want to select, click on it, and it will insert that family for you. Okay, so I don't really want to see. All right, so let's say I want to delete that. I can delete that. I want to go to the next page. Here I have a whiteboard. I can draw. I can erase, I can create shapes, I can fill them in, highlight them, highlighter, um, do different types of things. Go to my next page. Um, here I found a dot to dot in the media. So my children can come up and with their finger, They can just connect the dots, one through 12. And there's lots of dot to dots in there and you can find them counting one to 12, one to 20, one to 100. You can put several dot to dots across the screen. 
Um, you can lay the table flat and put them around the screen. Um, here's counting and patterns. So you can have um, the children count or you could say complete the pattern. So here's the counting. You can turn on and off that. You don't want the number to show. Um, here's Unifix cubes. So you can tell them, you know, join the Unifix cubes together. How many do you have? Add some more up there. Five plus two. Um, another good thing about this is it says select a video from YouTube and the ads are automatically removed. So let's try that. If I go here to media and I go down here to video and I'm going to search a Disney. So I'm going to search Frozen. Okay, so here's Frozen. I put that in there and I'm going to view the video. All right, so the minute it starts playing, the ads are gone because ProWise deletes the videos, so you don't have to worry about skipping those videos. You can also add sounds. Um, here's tracing practice. So there's lots of tracing practice in here for the little ones. Um, I just went out on the internet and found some Spanish words here. Um, so anything you go, you could go out to the um, internet and you can just copy stuff and pull it in to the internet from the internet. Um, shapes and tools we talked about from here. Uh, you can just select different things. Also, you can add your favorite links to the website. Um, so we all know that as soon as you turn your back and you're trying to type something, um, so let's say I want to get Nat Geo up here. So I go up here to type, well, the kids just go crazy behind me. So this way you can put your favorite links up here, um, your favorite link to your curriculum, um, class dojo, anything you want. and you could have a page full of your favorite links and you just have to come up here and touch it with your finger and it goes straight out to that website. So you don't have to fiddle with typing it. So that's a good feature um, if you want that. Um, here's base 10 blocks. So the children's, okay, how many is this? Need a little help? Press right there and it will tell you, oh, gotta get back to the finger. And 14, and then they can write the number 14. And it comes with two stylists um, that's in your blue and white box, um, but you can use your finger for anything. So I'm going to use my finger here, and I'm going to use, hey, let's look at this 3D bicycle here. Wow, look at that. So um, if you're getting ready to teach a lesson on something, look and see if they have a 3D model of it. How fun is that to let them come up and touch and play around with that. Um, also memory matching. Um, studies show that if you let the children uh, practice memory matching, it helps when they start to read and they're retaining what they read. Um, so here I just said, you know what, I want the backside to have a barn on it and I want to just start small. So let's play this little memory matching game. So I'm going to touch with my finger. There's a lamb and a cow. So I'm gonna try again. There's a pig and a lamb. Okay, I think I remember where the lamb is. All right. So that shows my matches. Um, here's some high frequency words. I just went out on the internet and found the tracing of the high frequency words. Um, so let me show you what it looks like if you put it all the way around the screen. So I put these all the way around and I said, you know what, if you put this down as a center and lay the table flat, the kids can practice. Um, same scenario, let's say it's the beginning of the year and you want to write the children's names all the way around and then you let the kids practice. Well, 
um, you can save it before they um, practice writing their name. Then the next day, there you go, you have their names already written. And the, um, that's the center for the next day. So it helps you from recreating the wheel every day. You have it there. Um, here's just some flashcards. And then when you make a word, you hit plus. Um, it's got dice. So you can play roll the number of the day and then write it. Um, he has some coding fun. Uh, let's say I want this little boy here. I want him to walk forward and then sit on this towel. So I'm going to have him walk one, two, three, and then he's going to sit down. So let's have him walk forward. One, two, three, and then sit down. So over here on the side is what he's going to do. And then I'm going to hit play down here at the bottom. All right. So one, two, three. And then he's going to sit down. Okay, so you could have him stand back up. You could have him sing the song, um, <clears throat> say certain words. Um, there's all kinds of fun things that he can do. You can change these backgrounds to different things. So lots of little just introduction to coding. And then you can put several on the screen. You could lay it flat, put it around. Kids love doing that. Um, here's a happy birthday. If it's someone's birthday, you can put their name, how old they're going to be. Hit play. Well, so have their birthday in there. Um, also, this comes with touch table tools. So I go here. And under tools, there's language, there's math, classroom management, building blocks. I can also go here under touch table tools. There's lots and lots of games here. Um, so I'm gonna, let's play counting dots. All right, so let's say I have my table flat. And here is four different levels that the uh, children can play. So I'm gonna press on this first level. All right, so the kids, this is a uh, 10 touch. So the kids are matching them. I mean, colors, and then counting, one, two, three, four, of course, simultaneously here, and you can press this, um, turn the volume up or down, go back. All right, so you just want to make sure you play the touch table tools because there's lots and lots of different ones in there you can play. Um, there's language, there's math, lots of things to do in there. So that is presenter10.prowise.com, and I can send you um, a link of how to get onto that. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me an email. My email is mmarshall at kaplanco.com. Again, mmarshall at kaplanco.com. It's down here in the bottom left of this recording. And uh, thank you for joining me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.